she like, you know what? I'm taking her away because they're not going to be coming down on her. You know what I'm saying? They're not even approaching Jock about it. And she told all them, y'all not saying nothing to Jock, but y'all saying everything to her. And it is true. Y'all don't need to keep on drilling this bitch and drilling this bitch on when was it, when was it, and what year was this, and what year was that, and if she had to pussy, if they fuck. Like, what difference does it make? This nigga had something going on with her, and it don't matter about the timeline for real, for real, y'all, because he's been fucking with Kendra since 2015. So it really doesn't matter. And then now we know that in 2019, when they were probably even planning the wedding and strong in their relationship, he ate me this pussy. So it's nothing to keep going on and on about. But bitches like Erica like to keep on getting mad at the bitch and, and depending on her to leave him alone when you cannot do that. And even if you was to get this bitch to leave him alone, he's still going to go and run and find somebody else. And then you're going to be trying to get her to leave him alone. So this bitches out here, y'all who will keep chasing every bitch away. This is what they do, you know what I'm saying? And poor Erica, she's so in her feelings because of Safari, you know? And we're going to get into it, but she's in her feelings about Safari, and I felt bad for her. I really did, especially when she was like, you know, she tried and tried and tried, and he must have really been creating a lot of infidelity on her. Safari, you know, he must have really been doing a lot to her. But um, y'all know Erica do a lot too. And yeah, I just think both of them did a lot. So y'all, Spice is fashion show, okay? Um, She just said she wants everybody to have fun on the runway. You know, um, just dance, smile, do whatever you want to do on the runway. It's a fun show. It's a family show. And she just wants to, you know, show everybody her stuff. And Mita gets there and she lets Mita know off the break. You know, yeah, Jock said he's not coming. He sent me a text this morning. Said he got the stuff that I sent him to model, but he's not going to be able to make it. Yeah, and I'm like, I wasn't surprised at that. Okay, honey, this is, everything will go on at this motherfucker like it did, you know, but it would be worse. The block is hot. That's just it. The block is hot and his ass ain't coming through. That's just the fuck it. You couldn't get Jock to come to that fashion show at gunpoint. I know that for sure because Meat is there. Shakana with her big ass mouth is there. Bammy is already on 1,000 and mad. And then on top of that, Erica is on 2,000 because she done already been through the same shit that a nigga put her through. So she is extra mad, okay? She is super duper mad, okay? So this shit would have went all left if him and Kendra would have came to this motherfucking fashion show. And y'all know it. So y'all, Scrappy and Bambi are at the fashion show and they are looking, yeah, very fashionable, okay? Um, yeah, Bambi, I love those tights. Like, I've seen, um, Malaysia wear these tights. I think it was um, Cardi B wear these tights. Like, these tights, I don't know what they are. I think they're Versace. Um, Malaysia wears a lot of Versace, you know? And she had a Versace top on with it. So, I'm guessing that these pants are Versace, but yeah, they are everything. Oh, that's who else wore um, Marlo off of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And when Marlo wore them, yeah, honey, she is tall like Bambi, and she was doing the damn thing. My husband was like, damn, that's a badass outfit. I was like, yeah, ain't it? <laughs> ain't it? And what else? And what else? You think she looked good? And what else? <laughs> Nah, y'all, y'all know I ain't even that type of bitch, but I was like, right, exactly, because Marlo was wearing them motherfucking pants, and Bambi, y'all, is wearing them pants to death even better, okay? Grab your head on some Gucci shit or whatever, and some type of blue, um, what is it, the jacket and blue boots. I ain't really fuck with the boots. My husband ain't fuck with the boots either. It's just not like his style. He's from, um, D.C., Maryland. Um, area and yeah, that's more of Atlanta, but I thought Scrappy looked nice. It's just not something that my husband would wear. They wear more like, um, more chiller colors and stuff like that. I still think that Scrappy look good, plus Scrappy already look good, okay? Yeah, but um, yeah, baby, you look real good, honey. Like, you look real good. You wore that and them legs, honey, she was just giving all legs. Like, Bambi is so tall. Um, she is a Bambi, you know? Anyway, y'all, Carly tells Spice that she wants to host the show. And, bitch, you not hosting the show because Shakar is hosting the show. Like, why are you always trying to start something and take over something? And be say I said this on my last video, y'all. Carly is always doing the most. And this time, y'all, she did the absolute most. And Shakar was here for it, bitch. Y'all was not on that goddamn stage playing tug of war with the mic, honey. Okay, y'all, these bitches was like two ass little girls who got into a fight and fighting over their doll babies. And it was like really like tug of war on the fucking stage, y'all. And it was hilarious. Like it was so fucking funny because they look dumb. Like why are y'all doing this? And do y'all not see the audience? Like, it was so fucked up, and it was so comical, and Carly is pulling on the mic from Shakana, talking about, give me the mic, and Shakana tell herself, get the fuck down me to get the fuck off to say something, so this black bitch is hating on me, y'all, they was doing too damn much, and I was crying laughing, y'all, it was just too damn funny, because y'all 
it is not that serious of who needs to host the show. And then on top of that, Shakana, you wasn't even doing a good job because Spice had to tell you backstage, you're not cheap. Spice was all up there and the curtain off. You're not saying the names. Like, she was supposed to be saying the actual names of each outfit. And Shakana wasn't even doing this bitch was playing. She was acting like it was a whole comedy show, y'all. And it was so goddamn funny. Like, everybody just kept laughing at everything that she was doing. Because she was doing too motherfucking much, y'all. And at the end, I could not even believe what she did, y'all. Hey, everybody. She girl, Sassy Sean T. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, honey. Back with another one, girl. Y'all get into this episode, okay? But first... I just want to let y'all know I'm dressed cute, okay? Because I just came from my grandmother's funeral, okay, in D.C., y'all. It was really, really nice. Everybody had to wear white. I just kept my clothes on, so, yeah, y'all can see my outfit. And, yeah, I look bomb, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted y'all to see that, okay? But um, we had a really nice time. My grandmother, and I want to show y'all, she was 99 years old. So, this is my grandmother. And look at that, 1923, and she died in... 2022 so that's 99 years old she was 99 um two months shy away from being 100 okay so your girl she might you know live until she like 100 and everything because my grandmother yes that is my first um grandmother not my great grandma or anything like that that's my grandmother okay so um yeah y'all let's just get into this episode okay and by the way real cute my little necklace that's cute um i got the matching bracelet y'all see that fashion over this outfit was also fashion over um, it came with shorts, like real, like cut shorts. They were, they were short, but not like booty shorts. You know what I'm saying? A nice little dressy feel. And then the top is like a halter with a nice little like pin right here. So I ain't wear that far, but, um, I will be wearing it in the DR. Okay. I got this outfit really. It's a long jacket too, but it was a long jacket, short shorts, and then like a, um, two top that comes with it. I was going to wear this in DR. I probably won't now because, you know, everybody already some wood. Okay, girl? So, yeah, your girl always likes to stay funky fresh. So, yeah, I'm not going to be wearing this. But I was going to wear it, but I, I was told it was going to be a white party at the DR. We're having different things going on there. And we're going to have a neon party on the beach. Not on the beach, on a boat. And so, you know, I got my little stuff for that. Okay? And then, um, too, but they told us it was going to be a white party. Now, I went and got me a little white ensemble, honey. Okay, and yeah, it's actually a pool party, so I got me a little, you know, thing for that. Okay, I, you know, your girl gonna do it up for that. So I already got my stuff, the little hat, everything for that. So yeah, I had pictures and everything. I probably be, you know, recording. I probably, I will be recording in the DR and everything. So yeah, y'all get to see my little fashions with that too. Okay, honey. So yeah, y'all, let's just get into the video, okay? Because that's what y'all really came for. Y'all ain't even come for all that, okay? But y'all did come for my 99 year old grandma who just passed, okay? So anyway, y'all, let's just get into it. This episode, you know, starts off with Shakana trying to squeeze her big ass, okay, into a size medium, okay? And I'm just like, you know what? At the end of the day, I think we all do this, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that we wear this certain size and bitch, no. It was like a leotard thing. So basically, Spice has a um, product line coming out, a clothing line coming out, and it's called Grasse, Grasse Noir or something like that, y'all. Shakana was butchering it at the little fashion show because she was supposed to be the host for a year, Spice Fashion Show. And she was butchering it, grassy in the eye, grassy, just saying it all fucked up and y'all was crying. Like, even my husband was like, what the fuck is she saying? Because, you know, and luckily we knew what Spice is, I think it's grassy, grassy new art. That's how you supposed, she was saying grassy and shit like that. Like, so luckily Spice explained, you know, that it's basically a clothing line where it's like a bunch of nice ass sweatsuits like sweatsuits kind of you know what i mean but but really really stylish you know and they look really nice all types of colors red green blue like bright really nice colors but not like neon but like bright nice colors but anyway so she is supposed to be trying this outfit on and it's like a leotard shit so she can fit it but when she's squeezing it too y'all just like bitch no you know what i'm saying but like i was thinking you know if you can fasten the leotard part under your coochie then you can fit it and this bitch can fasten it so she knew she could fit it and yeah she got it to that bitch but um yeah when she was taking it off it was just like bitch like it looked like she was about to break y'all know when you be all tight and it'd be good for the moment bitch when, when you try to take that shit off like you need help you need everybody to come and grow all of the things okay because she could not get that shit off and i was just like ooh, girl like you be thinking you're gonna have to have surgery to get the shit off because it's just be like really stuck to your body 
but she got to open her. Spice is telling Shaquan, you know, Jock was going to be there modeling, you know, some of the men stuff. Shaquan was like, you know what? You knew that me to drop that pussy on Jock, you know? And, um, yeah, you look like the dirty bitch in the metal. I said, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know Shaquan to be saying whatever the fuck she went out of her mouth, y'all. This bitch ain't got no stress. Because she says it right off and she just let it roll off. It's nothing to it. Then she tells her, and then you put me in the middle of it because you want me to host your show. Me to walks in, Okay. And yeah, Shekana goes right at her, you know, what's going on? Did you give Jock some pussy? Just asking her like flat out. She she wasn't even holding no punches. Mita was basically like, you know, she haven't had sex with Jock in three or four years, but he did eat her coochie, okay? And I'm like, ooh, like, damn, bitch. Mita, somebody saying this about your husband back in 2019. Like, ugh, like, and y'all been together since 2015? And so Mita, y'all, is in her confessional, like, you know, everybody know whoever messed with Jock, yeah, he's good with his tongue and his tool. I'm like, okay, girl, once again, girl, somebody is saying this about your husband, like, that's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Y'all, Mita proceeds to tell Spice and Shikana, you know, she felt interrogated when Bambi, um, Kendra, and Erica called her, you know, when they called her on the last episode approaching her about Jock. Because, yeah, this bitch already know who I am and she was faking, you know, and they showed the clip of Kendra asking Jock, like, who is Mita? And he was like, come on now, stop playing. You know who Mita is. So they didn't catch it there and I didn't catch that either. Like, I, I did not catch that, you know, but I was, I guess I was just so, still so focused on the fact that she was faking about the baby. I did not know she was faking about that too. So yeah, you fooled me on that one, Kendra. And I had no idea. But, um, and I be telling y'all, I see everything. I did not see that. Yeah, that slipped right past your girl. And Mita's like, you know, I felt some type of way because I really didn't feel like I wanted to tell this bitch that he ate my pussy. Like, that was too much. And I knew that it looked like, I said it in my last video, it looked like she did not want to hurt her feelings. Like, she didn't want to, like, say all of that. You don't want to give somebody all of that. Even though you know, you know, that you've been doing something wrong. Like, that's just not something that you dump on somebody, especially if you know that, you know, was getting married. And just like she was saying, really, it was because of Jock. You know, she just felt like she was protecting Jock. You know, so I can understand it on her end, but you know, like like um Shakana said at the end, like we just hopping on Mita so bad and nobody's addressing Jock about it. Like Jock is getting none of the flack and Mita's taking all of the hits, and it's just not right because this is what we do. We blame it on the female when in actuality it's his ass. He's the one in the relationship. Everybody should be really zoomed in on this nigga Jock because he is the one that stepped out of his relationship. And she don't have no fucking ties to Kendra. Don't no bitch give a fuck about no bitch. So if this nigga is in her face and she like him, she see what she like, and she don't know Kendra like that, then she gonna go for what she knows. She don't give a fuck about what they got and what they going through. You know what I'm saying? She just don't. And then on top of that, Jock don't give a fuck. So that's just it. Nobody should be acting as if somebody should be protecting another female. That's just it. Bambi and Scrap, we just gonna hop right to it. In the car, you know, he basically trying to tell her, you know, um, you need to stay out of it, Bambi. And Bambi like, well, maybe I should talk to um, uh, Mita about it. And bitch, well, I wasn't even thinking to myself, but I asked my husband, what does she need to talk to Mita about? You know what I'm saying? And my husband was like, yeah, just to get some more business. And then right after he said it, she was saying that to, to, to um, Scrappy. Yeah, um, because maybe I just need to get some more details. Details on what? Why don't you call Jock? Why don't you ask Jock? You know, but for real, bro, you know he's not going to tell you the truth. And it's not your business. It's just really not. So he said he's telling um, Bambi she needs to stay out of it and everything. And Bambi's telling her, well, um, she's thinking about getting a Norman and all that. And Scrappy's just like, look, that's not your business. Leave it alone. And Bambi is basically saying, you know, she feels like she should say something to me because she's the one that brought it to the forefront. You know, basically to Kendra. And I guess she's feeling guilty, whatever. So that's her reason, you know. But um, Scrappy was like, yeah, no, honey. And he told her, well, Jock told me she knows about everything, okay? And Bambi is sitting there not getting what her husband is telling. Like, she's not even hearing him. You know, say she said in a confessional, you know, he's basically telling me that Kendra knew about everything. So in the car, she is basically denying and not even realizing that it's the fucking truth, you know, and niggas tell niggas the truth and you just heard it from your man mouth what this nigga said. So you need to believe it, but it's probably like, you probably can't wrap your mind around it for Bambi because she was right there in the mix with um, Kendra when Kendra was acting all surprised and asking who media is. So that's hard to believe, you know, but I would believe my husband, really? 
oh, for real, this bitch is really lying? Like, damn. Like, and we would have vibed on that shit right then and there, but, you know, Bambi just sucked, you know, to what she thought she knew. And yeah, honey, you saw later at the fashion show that it is what it is because that bitch, you know, gave you a whole um award to give to your friend, you know, for lying, saying that she didn't know about me. So, y'all, another part about Mita was telling Shakana and Spice about how, you know, well, Jock gave me Kenja's number. And they were like, what, for what? You know, Spice was like, for what? And she was like, you know, to look for a house, you know? And Mita was like, yeah, um, they were even at your party, you know, talking to Spice. They were at your party and they left early because they saw me and Kendra kept on looking over there staring at me and she was uncomfortable, okay? Mm -hmm. Mita said she talked to Jock that night and said, and yeah, that's why they left because, you know, Kendra was uncomfortable. So yeah, Mita know about that shit and she was uncomfortable because she knows that her husband is a whore and the bitch that he was supposed to be linked up for a house and he could possibly try to fuck her that's what it was about or you might know more than that okay so yeah Mita is basically telling Spice and Shikana look she knows everything okay and Bambi and Erica need to know the truth basically she's telling them she gonna let them know the truth because their friend is bamboozling them that's just it so Sierra and her boyfriend are back at the ATO house the big ass house that they bought the you know, she no longer wants to live in because some niggas ran through her house and robbed the shit. Like, was banging on the doors, running all through her house, taking shit and everything else. So, they're in the house, and she's just feeling uncomfortable. You know what I mean? She's saying everything that's not there, everything they stole, like, they just stole every fucking thing. You know, they left her little pieces of jewelry, probably costume jewelry or something like that, because if it was some real shit, they probably would have took the shit. You know what I'm saying? But they probably left some little slight shit like this. You know what I'm saying? And um, ran with the real shit, okay? But, um, yeah, she just in the motherfucker. She like, I ain't trying to stay in here. Eric is like, basically, you know, um, he agreed to sell the house, but really he don't want to sell the house. He wants to stay there, but he just going, you know, al along with what she wants. And, um, you know, he just in his feelings saying, sometimes she needs to bend for me and do the things that I want. Okay, honey, but this is not the time. Okay. Ain't nobody living in nobody's house that somebody ran through. And I got memories and thinking that somebody would even come back on top of that. Like, why would I stay in here? It doesn't make any sense, especially they acting like the shit is not, you know, written in ink. That's how they acting like they can get out of it. So now it is your change, y'all. And then sometimes you got to listen to God. Okay, that was a sign. Okay, God spoke to y'all. Okay, right before y'all moved in. No, this is not going to work because this is not the place. You know, and he let y'all know off the break and y'all need to leave. So y'all basically, they saying they don't have anywhere to stay. You know what I'm saying? They start arguing again and everything. He says he's been doing everything under the sun to try to make Sierra happy. And, you know, he's not getting anything in return. He's trying to just like rent an Airbnb, you know, just get something short to not waste a lot of money. He was like, Sierra, quick on wasting money. Because she all talking about something. Yeah, I want to get a one bedroom condo. You can go where you're going to go and I'm going to go with, like, this bitch is serious. And I don't blame her. And then on top of that, he's not even focused on her comfort. You know, her mental state has to be in the right place in order for her to move forward in the relationship. So he needs to just dead it at this point and stop being mad at it. You already said you gave in and you, you know, said, okay, I will sell the house and that's not something that you don't really want to do and you're doing it. So just let it be that. Don't still be being mad about it. Just leave it alone, you know? So I just, that's what I think. You know, if you're going to leave it alone, then leave it alone. But if you're going to keep on um, back and forth, getting mad one minute, you you made the decision to change what I'm making, get, make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all need to be done with the relationship and you move in your BNB, Airbnb and she moves over to her condo if you're going to keep on bringing this shit. Niggas always like to say a bitch is always nagging. Now you are. You're nagging. You know what I'm saying? We made this decision and now it's over. But his thing is, just get an Airbnb, and I do agree with that. You know, I do not think, I think they should move out of the house. That's, you know, a no-brainer. But I don't think that they should do what Sierra is saying and go ahead and get a condo. Like, for what? Buy a condo? If it's something that you want to do is move into a big-ass house, then you should keep with your dreams and, and keep going. But I guess Sierra is trying to still, you know, look the part and be the part, act the part. And I think if she got a really nice condo, she could still, you know, maintain her image. You know, and Airbnb just wouldn't even be it. But y'all, they got some really nice Airbnbs out here, okay? So you probably need to rethink that shit. On that part, I believe that he's right. And I just don't think that they should, you know, be signed on the dotted line and committing to anything like a condo when you just had a big ass house and this was your dream. So y'all, Spice is fashion show, okay? Everybody came out, oh, they look real cute or whatever. Watch the episode for y'all but I gotta get to this part. Eat is switching her ass down the runway, okay? And Shakana's like, yeah, um, we see why Jock really like this sexy lady. This is his ex-girlfriend, you know? See how sexy she is? And we can see how he was in love with her with her fine ass. I said, ooh. 
God, that was too much. Like, really, bitch? And if Kendra was here, would you have done that? I don't think so, because she probably would have got your ass beat. Y'all know she kind of like to blow up people's spots, do all this extra shit, and then she be running off, not wanting to be bothered. Like, she ain't even saw the shit from the beginning. You know, this is what she kind of do. But, because I was just wondering, you know, would you have done that if Kendra was there? And no. You know, or, I don't know, that been, that probably would have been the first time that Jock would have hit a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because she kind of did a lot doing that, you know, and Bambi and Erica's just all over there making faces like, you know, just like, ugh, like, why would she do that? And, um, she asked them right there on stage while she's hosting the show, well, Bambi, why you ain't clap? Why you ain't clap? Clap for Kendra coming down after the shit you said. And Bambi was like, like, giving it up. Really? Like, did you really just do that? So disrespectful. And Kendra's going to find out about that. And do you really think Kendra's going to fuck with you? You have created a beef, Shekana, between you and Kendra. And probably, possibly, job. You know, that was just tasteful. Um, Spice gets up, you know, trying to do some type of performance. And that's what Erica basically said. You know, she had to save her show at that point, you know. And I guess that was the vibe. And I don't know if she decided that she needed to save the show or she was going to have a performance. But obviously, Erica knows something we don't. You know, maybe she felt like, you know, she really had to get up there and do something else because people were really uncomfortable with that. Like, why would you say all of that? You know, it was just messy boots, honey. And it was for nothing. It was all for nothing. Shakana feels like, basically, you know, she don't like the faces that they making towards me because, you know, we've all got caught up with the DMA mistakes, you know. And that is true. But at the end of the day, this is something you talk about in your house. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, which, you know, we all made mistakes with it. We did some dumb ass shit. But you introducing this bitch all over and then proceeds to take this bitch hand and walk down the aisle with her again. And as they're walking down the aisle, you know, because Shekana got this bitch hand, she like, are, are you being messy? Asking Shekana, are you being messy? And Mita was like, you know, she was with her because, you know, she owns her truth. And like many other females, they just don't, you know, so... Yeah, you can own your tube and everything like that. But if it was me and she tried to take my hand, I'd be like, hold on now. You know, that was too much. You already say, oh, look at her. She look good. Jock used to be in love with her. This is look. No wonder he was in love. You know, I just wouldn't have walked down the aisle with Shekana, you know, because Shekana is already messy. And I'm sure that Mita knows this by now. And so you just put yourself in some motion. So Bambi Sierra, um, Erica, and some of the girls and Spice are back, you know, after the fashion show. And they're just talking, and they're still trying to get together the timeline and everything. Y'all know I don't even go through all that timeline shit. It's just stupid. Me to let everybody know, like, look, I don't need a timeline for my vagina. You know, I know what I did. I know exactly what I did. And I guess she felt like, Bambi felt like she was getting bucked. She was like, yeah, you ain't had that same energy. Well, bitch, I got it now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all bringing this shit up again, and have y'all even talked to Jock about it. You know, she basically felt like y'all not going to ambush me. And keep coming down on me about what I did with Jock when this bitch Kendra already know. You know, and so that's what she said. She was like, look, she knows everything about me. She knows about me. She's bullshitting y'all. And Spice pulls away. She like, you know what? I'm taking her away because they not going to be coming down on her. You know what I'm saying? They not even approaching Jock about it. And she told all of them, y'all not saying nothing to Jock, but y'all saying everything to her. And it is true. This bitch is out here, y'all who will keep chasing every bitch away. This is what they do, you know what I'm saying? And poor Erica, she's so in her feelings because of Safari. And I felt bad for her, I really did. Especially when she was like, you know, she tried and tried and tried. And he must have really been creating a lot of infidelity on her, you know? He must have really been doing a lot to her. But um, y'all know Erica do a lot too. And yeah, I just think both of them did a lot. So y'all, Mita comes back out, this bitch ain't done. She like, yeah, um, let me give y'all this award. She got a little trophy, okay? Um, to give to your friend for the best performance of acting like she don't know that her husband is messing around with her like that. Like, give her this because she knows exactly what he's doing. And Sierra's like, I'm not giving her that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looking stuck and stupid because I'm letting y'all know this bitch know and she fucking with y'all. She just lied dead in y'all face and y'all are not saying it. So why don't y'all stop right now, go approach this bitch. Why don't you FaceTime this bitch and call her right there in front of me? But you ain't going to do that. You want to keep on honing and on the female when it's the nigga fault more when it's more of the nigga fault because this bitch ain't got no time to you so why is she gonna be loyal to you the man is the one who's supposed to be loyal to you you can't depend on this bitch to be loyal to you and all the anger and frustration that y'all taking out on her put it into job and maybe these niggas will stop doing what they're doing to y'all because 
they will know that you're going to come down on them and not the female. So y'all, now Sierra and Bambi and Erica meet up. And, you know, Sierra just fucked up with them because they call her on FaceTime. Basically, she feel like y'all bitches approach me about some shit, you know, right on FaceTime. And I ain't appreciate it. Like, that was messed up. And I can see how she felt that way. You know what I'm saying? Why don't y'all call me and give me a heads up or something or maybe not film or something? I don't know. I think... If they are friends, like it looks like they are, they could have did it another way. But on their side, you know, I always see two sides, y'all. But on their side, like, bitch, we on reality TV and this is what I have to do. You know, so I'm making a phone call. Did you know about this? Like, what's going on? But for real, for real, they shouldn't have did that on Sierra. If I was Sierra, I'd be mad because I had been struggling with this. And now I just got busted out like I knew, you know. So I can see both sides and the two sides not going to see it on both sides so i'm just outside looking at and i see both sides you know they needed to you know confront some shit that was basically the topic of the show and that's what happened so sierra is telling them also you know she didn't appreciate how you know nobody has been there for her since her house got broken into and erica just like her she like bitch nobody was there for me but somebody broke in me and safari house you know what i'm saying and then on top of that erica was like i tried to text you i tried to text you and Sierra didn't even want to hear. She just walked up. Y'all some fake bitches and called each other all these type of names. And Bambi comes up. You know, y'all need to stop um, yelling at each other like that. It's not that serious. You know, we're all friends and stuff. Trying to patch it up. And, and at the end of the day, you know, Bambi goes off walking off like, I'm just over this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't come to no resolution, y'all. So, yeah, I don't know, Sierra. And then on top of that, y'all, that's what I forgot to mention. Sierra is fucked up with Bambi because she feels like she's more into what... Um, Mita and Jock and Kendra got rather than be into the safety of what's going on with Sierra, her friend, you know, so she just feel like Bambi is just too involved with that and them and not even checking for her, you know, so that's the thing with Sierra and I can understand that, you know what I'm saying, especially if your house got broken into and your friend ain't like, bitch, are you okay, like, what the fuck is your mental, you know, doing, like, and do you need to come over here, like, what's going on, how are you and how are you holding up, you know, what did they take, like, you supposed to be able to talk you know to your girl and i guess sierra feel like she hasn't been able to do that and bambi hasn't been available okay so y'all that is all for this video i gotta do my notes for love and hip-hop miami i'm moving really slow um this week i had to work around the clock because i had to take off for something last week so i had to work on saturday i usually you know do my videos and post on saturday but you know i post the bill collective late and yeah this one is late and love and hip-hop miami gonna be late because i had to work on saturday that's what it was but i forgot what i took off for um, during the week. It don't matter. I worked on Saturday so I couldn't do a video and post. Yeah. So I will be releasing those videos, okay? The Love and Hip Hop Miami and then Bill Collective comes back on and then I was supposed to be too. Um, I got back to the videos this week, y'all. I was supposed to be um, reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville and I did not do it because I was too busy, like I said. Um, I already was feeling backed up of the way my, you know, weekend was going and I know I had to do Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and Miami and Huntsville, on top of everything I just said, Huntsville just wasn't worth me struggling and stressing about. It just wasn't. Y'all, I watched the episode and I just was just like, okay. They didn't even get really into the um therapy session. They all the couples are meeting at the in the um with the therapy session um at a really nice place with the um black therapist that I like. And yeah, they was just mad at um Tiffany for having to work while they were talking and trying to do a session but nothing really like went on so I will be reviewing that next week um if I can because y'all know I work at 9 to uh 7 30 to 2 30 so it'd be hard sometimes you know what I'm saying full shows for me is a lot so yeah y'all that is all for this video I will see you ladies and gents later okay bye